Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. New mods are out. We got some new and updated mods to talk about today on Mod Hub for Farm Sim 22. In total, we have 18 mods today for all platforms. There are 13 new and four updates. The PC and Mac players have one update. In today's video, I'll show you all the new mods plus their customization, and we'll review all the mods that got an update. Welcome to Tushelling, or baby Tushelling? I'm not quite sure. This is a Dutch map based in an island by the same name. When you plop yourself onto the map, you're gonna see this. They say, welcome traveler to Tushelling. Thank you for coming to visit our beautiful island, of course. Hopefully you will like it and make this place your home. Pack your things and go to the gas station. Maybe you can ride with them. The map's got a total of 48 fields, two cell points. There's also a small BGA. We've got custom license plates on the map, custom textures, custom color grading, and four different farms. If you're curious about the planting calendar, here is what you'll get. And here's what you get in new farmer mode. So you can see we've got fields 30, 31, and 26, or at least farmland numbers. Everything else is wide open. Uh, we can go through, let's see if I can select a few things. I do have precision farming turned on. As far as prices go, uh, you can see kind of expensive for what it is. It is a tiny little area. Um, the big square on the outside, that's a normal 1x or a 2x map, whatever you want to call it. So this is about a quarter of the size roughly of a normal map. So prices are pretty high. This is your main farm right here. We do have some of those uh, custom placeable buildings that are required for the map. We'll talk about those here in just a minute. I'll show you guys all of those because there's like 10, I think, or 15. There's too many, I think is the, the correct terminology there. So here's your main farm area. And here's everything that you get in new farmer mode, which is a bunch of stuff. So we have a Valtra A series. We've also got a Massey 6713. We've got a Schaefer Telehandler and we have the John Deere XUV. As far as tippers go, we've got one of these small Velgers. We have a Pottinger small plow. We've got a horse cultivator. Nice small cedar right there. We do have a small planter as well. As an Amazon fertilizer spreader, which is one of the largest ones in the game at 42 meters. <laughs> we also have a weeder on here. We have a front and rear mower. The back one is a single, so you can upgrade that later on. We got a tether, nice windrow, forge wagon on here, baby baler. We've got a K branded feed mixer for feeding your animals. We even have a silo compactor in here. Front loader tools for a fork with grapple and a universal bucket. So there's a weight and a Bachman trailer to move stuff around. There's plenty here to get started, and because it's not a massive map, you guys can actually utilize this um, and not have to upgrade the equipment very much. And just a quick heads up, there are a lot of required mods for this. I know some people don't like downloading a bunch of stuff. I'm one of those people, so just a heads up, you're gonna have to download a bunch of placeables on this map to get it to work. Next up, we got the John Deere 6X20 series. This is from Virtual Farmers, not the Virtual Farmer. This is a medium tractor, starts off at 127 horsepower. We got a manual plus power shift transmission on here, 325 liters of fuel, and it'll go 31 miles an hour. Sweet, front mounting, we got a front three point. We've also got a secondary three point. This has the PTO attached to it and we could do some front weight so we got 120 420 nice 620 820 1020 and then we've got a different 1020 as well as a 1270 and back to those three point hitches engine setups we've got 127 138 147 162 169 nice and 180 as well as 190 and 200 goodness 210 220 okay that's where it stops so we have up to 220 horsepower on here Will Brands from Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Continental, Vratistan, and Nuggian Tires. And we've got everything normal that you would expect to see in there. We've also got a couple different sets of twin tires as well, if you guys want that. Beacon lights, we go on the left, we go on the right, we go on both sides, or we don't go at all. Additional working lights, we've got some on the front. We've got some added to both and just the back. Very cool. Fender, yes or no? Animation, simple IC or simple IC mouse uh, control. So I'm guessing those are probably going to be PC only features. And then we've got front loader attacher for the John Deere. We also have it without the front bracket. And we have the quickie without. And we have the Hauer with or without. With or without. All right. Hey, and a design color as well. I'm guessing these are going to be for the front loader. That's just my assumption. And my assumption 
is correct. Next up, we have the Lizard Timber Loader from North Modding Company. NMC in the build, baby. This thing packs up weighs 11.5 tons, but thank goodness it does because it is meant to load up some pretty hefty logs. Tidget belt support, we have yes and no, and then we've got color options for the main color itself. I'm just going to go with a gray color here because I want to show you guys how this works in the game. So North Modding Company say it is made specifically for two vehicles that we've got in game. The Volvo VNX 300 with the Platinum DLC. This is the Tritum Long version. Or the Volvo FH16 in the 8x4 wheel configuration. There are two here. You've got a tag or push. Either one's fine. As you can see, both of these are almost about the same length. So we will start with this version. We'll load it up and see how we do. Also, I'm thinking I maybe should have taken off some of those customization options on the back because... I'm guessing they're not gonna fit properly. Boop. Got it. Uh, I think I got it backwards though. No, actually I don't. We can move this forward. I'm gonna move this as far forward as it'll let me, which is probably gonna be a little bit too far. Yeah, I'm gonna guess first person is... Uh-oh, I didn't crash my game again, did I? No, it didn't. Oh, well, that was upside down, wasn't it? So it looks like we are able to kind of adjust this to the right setup, more or less. We'll kind of put this all the way back and load it up for another truck. One other thing I'm seeing on the bottom of this is there's really no way to tell where the connection is. So you may just have to deal with it. Nope, I missed it. Come on, little forward. There we go. Got it. At least it's not too bad heavy because otherwise this would fall straight off the back end of this. Let's hook it up which we have, and let's uh, let's have a little bit of fun with it. So we'll go ahead and unfold. That brings us up, brings us in, and raises us off the ground, making this a completely stationary crane. Goodness! It is operated via the inside of the truck itself. This is a hefty monster. Yo! I don't know how to control it, but yeah, there we go. There's that, in and out. Yep. <laughs> I'm really not good at this, but this is a much larger piece of equipment than it looks. Next up, we have the Limkin Diamond 12. This is a big plow for you guys. Uh, 4.8 meters, 10 miles an hour, 240 horsepower on here. The cool thing is we've got color options. So design, we've got a couple different main colors for just the main body. But however, you want to change that up to a cloth plow and make it look good with that. Well, we can easily do that. We'll go with a the fence there and then we'll go with red here. Boom. Now we're ready for gloss or kind of whatever you want. Uh, rim colors, we do have the four primary colors. We have chrome, gray, white, and black, but we also have red as well, which will match fent or gloss. Next up, we got another plow for you. This is the Lizard Mini 8 Plus 2. This is from Lengreo Mods. It costs you 9,700 bucks, 3.4 meters at seven miles an hour. It does require 150 horsepower and it's going to unfold. Not a whole lot to it. Next, we have the Bell Handling Grab Bell Handling Pack. Yeah, from AMG Gaming and N89A. We talked about these right before Christmas, and they're here. They are out now for everybody. We've got a couple different ones of these. These are all set up for uh, your telehandlers, but I do believe we have different attachments as well, so that may come in handy. So three different styles. We've got just a regular bell fork. We've got a bell grab from the sides, which kind of hug them. And then we've got from the top and the bottom. So we'll customize this one. Decals. We have decals color. We also have gray scale and color again. As far as your uh, bell type, we have standard bells of three by four. Then we also have four by four, which is very nice. And then back in between those as well. Attachment type. We have the Mana 2 tail handler. We have the JCB quick fit telehandler we also have wheel loader on here as well frame colors we've got all of the above plus we've got some extra custom colors in there as well so we can go through there spike colors change those up to red hydraulic colors orange as most hydraulics are and a bracket color that is dark blue and you can basically do that with all of these very cool pack i know a lot of you guys have been waiting on this and it's here. Next up, we have the Grain Hopper. This is from Nico Pixes, and this is pretty cool. So it holds 500 liters. Uh, you can bump that up to 1,000 or 1,500 even if you would like. 
And we've got different color options. So we have the galvanized metal, but you can also change up that to really whatever you would like. And then design color, this could be changed up however you like as well. This will hold basically every single bulk crop. So we're talking like forge crops. We're talking about stones or manure, TMR, seeds, solid fertilizer, corn. You get the picture. This can be hooked up to pallet forks and you can move it around and unload into things like cedars or fertilizer spreaders. Maybe you need a quick thousand liter unload off of a combine harvester. You could do that as well. You could really utilize this however you need. Little baby piggy time. This is the pig shed from DMI Dutch Mining Inc. These are not some of the required mods on the but well, I'm guessing in the next update there will be. So these work exactly the way you would think. We've got slurry over there, food over here. You've got your animals in there. We've got one that holds 100 and the other one that holds, I believe, 70. Let's go and click on this. Please let me click on that. 70 it is. Yeah, all right. So uh, piggies. Yeah, piggies. <laughs> These are easy to find. Just go into your animals, go into pigs, and they'll be right here at the very end. Um, these take all your normal crops. Nothing crazy. That's all done through maps anyway. So you're not going to find anything wild here. Just really nice Dutch pig homes. Yeah. Now with this next one, normally I don't actually get out all of the decorations in the decoration pack. But I did with this one because there's none too many and they're all in the same place so this is the decoration bag from Pysel. very easy to find well decoration and others and in here you will find 24 24 my that's placeable dairy nope that's placeable dairy this is why i don't download a bunch of extra mods uh you've got all kinds of stuff here so we've got two different swings actually there's a couple different ones we've also got slides on here we've got a uh, rocket don't know what that would be used for, but there it is. We've got a bridge. We've also got ladders for climbing up and down. I mean, these are very, very old <laughs> style playground decorations, but that's basically what it is. It says decoration pack, but this is a playground decoration pack. So if you're working on a map and maybe you want to do a playground, say we're working on a map, working on your own map, you want to do some playground, some old rusty, uh, looks like maybe an old European playground. You got it. Oh, I got to delete all these before the next clip, don't I? Oh boy. Our next new mod for all platforms is the Shed. 44 by 16. That's going to be meters, by the way. It's also five meters high, if that matters to you. And it's got plenty of outdoor open space for massive machineries, bells, whatever you want to throw under here. Price isn't too bad. 50 grand and it is $55 per day which is a little bit steep. On the other end of the spectrum, we have Small Shed. Now this little tiny thing is 10% of the price at $5,000 and it is less than 10% of the total daily cost at $10 per day. It's got some really nice animation, well I say animations, it's got really nice decorations here on the ground. Those are automatically put there when you place this specific building down. It can be found in sheds just like the other and it's got some nice decorations around it. Very cool. Bill's lived in. Your next to last new one for all platforms today is going to be the Big Bag Holder. This is really just a uh, interior bit. And you see we've got a shelf right there where you can put your big bags. It may make picking them up straight off the ground a little bit easier. You probably fit, I don't know, four on there, three on there, something like that. Not bad. And your last new mod for all platforms today is going to be Zlipacho Tree. This is from Team IWMM. And I think... I think they actually released this mod back at Farming Simulator 19 as well. So we have the Lepacho tree, which was originally released with Farm Sim 17 as part of the Estancia Lepacho update uh, DLC. And, uh, and then we got different colors of it. It's a beautiful tree. Making our way over to mod updates for all platforms. The first one is the Metal Tech DB Pack version 1.2. Capacity change and visual fixes. Next is the 1700 kg weight version 1001. Added height and angle adjustments with the mouse. Thirdly is the cow barn with pasture version 1.1. They've added a straw plane to define the build trigger area. And your last update for all platforms is the concrete fences with gates version 1.1. Added gate for two segment fences and the model's been improved. And your last mod today, we do have an update for PC and Mac players. One of my favorite mods on the mod hub, Universal Autoload 
version 1.3.1 added better sound support for extendable vehicles, included configuration for the Fanzelt P13-4275, added high priority flag for the F1 menu, and fixed for the issues where trailers were still considered as full after selling the contents. Well guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it if you did. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. And check out Farm Some News from earlier today. We talked about EY Mining's new mod, the John Deere 4020, as well as an ammonia applicator, and one of Yost Mining's mods got rejected. Ooh, it's all in there. Check it out if you haven't seen it already. Otherwise, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.